We're back in Saigon today, uh, well, ooh. yesterday, and we spent one night here, and now we're on a bus on our way to go to the Nikon Yeah. We wanted a one-way bus to go to the Mekon Delta, but it, was. it worked out to be cheaper to go on, on a tour, tour one way. We can just leave the bus from there and make our own way around to the other side of the Mekon Delta. Yeah. And we're on a bus, leaving Saigon. We're catching a bus to meet her. And then we're catching a taxi to Ben Trey where we're staying a night. And then we're hiring a car and a driver to take us to Rat Ya. The rice farms reminded me of my grandfather's farms. It's kind of weird that they just build a highway just across somebody's farm. We're just waiting for uh, a boat to just uh, go on a boat ride in the Mekong Delta. We're about to go on a boat ride. This is a really typical tour of the Mekong Delta if you're booking in a tour for just the one day trip. If you want to go to the Mekong Delta from Saigon, there's no need to pre-book online. There are plenty of travel agents around in Saigon and there are plenty of tours. You can just book the night before and they can pick you up from your hotel. And rent is down. 80% of people stay here and they are farmers. Yeah. They let the tourists go to the border. Drop the tourists there. Tourists get on the street go go to Nampen. Uh, you see? Okay. okay. And uh, we uh, take this boat today. It just dropped us off on an island and we just got some snacks and then we're just waiting to go on a canal ride. This is how they get the sugar cane juice out of the sugar cane. <laughs> Canal ride, just uh, down on the little canals. The people paddling on the boat will try and get a tip of you in the end, so it's good to have some uh, small change on you. You don't have to tip if you don't want to. Though. So we're currently on a river. We're on a canoe. We're on a canoe on a river. And we're just canoeing, you know? Whoa, crashing and swell. Look at this. Whoa. There's a guy taking photos. How'd you like this experience, Adam? So, um, it's definitely different to what I'm used to. Um, it's fun though, I like it. What do you think about this experience? Yeah, yeah I love it. <laughs> so on the tour, they'll take you to the bee farm and they'll take you to the snake where they keep the snake and then they'll let you taste the honey products like the wine and then they, ta they let you taste the, um, the snake wine and then you have an option to buy it afterwards. Uh, it will harm you. <laughs> They don't let you try this one. They let you try this one. Coconut wine. Yeah, chichi. Yama. What's that? Sa chiu. Sa chiu. I feel really weak. You get to go and see how they make candy out of coconut or honey and palms, and then you get to try it, and then again you get you can get to buy it. How is it? <laughs> lunch was definitely the highlight of the day. So we're about to eat some lunch. Um, we're having fish. And this is like a Tom Yum, Vietnamese Tom Yum soup. And that's egg pancake. That's, yeah, omelette. And then this is the fish, yeah. After lunch, you can go on a bike ride and just go wandering by yourselves around the local streets. The 
The power network looks really dodgy. So now we're just waiting for the boat to come back so we can get our luggage off the boat where we left it and then we're going to leave the group from here. See you later. It was actually hard to get a taxi from here. We had to walk a long way and then we had to get help from a local to call a taxi for us. So just spent a really good day on the Mekong Delta with lots of like uh, boat action and stuff. And we just arrived in this hotel called Oasis. Um, it's pretty basic actually. Like I wouldn't go recommending it maybe to anybody, but it's quite relaxing to just sit on the hammocks and you know, I thought this place was a little bit overpriced for what it was worth. The rooms weren't very clean. Breakfast wasn't included. The toilet was broken and the pool was freezing. So premium. The one positive thing was they gave us complimentary bikes. We used the bikes to go to the night market and to get dinner because Which nothing was in walkable one? distance. are in a van on our way to our next destination which is Ratya. We're gonna find where my mum was born. The van cost us about two hundred dollars to go from Ben Trade to Ratya. This bridge was designed by an Australian engineering company who also funded and donated the bridge to Vietnam. So we're in, um on the way to Rat Yard still, and we're at a toilet stop. But the only toilets that they have are squat toilets. This river goes to Cambodia. It's a really narrow river, but it's very deep. And some of the boats that we see along this river are very similar to the boats that we escaped in um, as refugees. Yeah, this one. recently been some kind of uh, festival or public holiday here so all the uh, communist group flags are out so we're entering into Ratya so this is Bic, Indigo's mum I've kind of hijacked Indigo's voiceover because she's a little bit busy but I wanted to say that it's the first time that I've been back to Rat Yeah since we escaped from Vietnam when I was three and a half years old. Stay tuned for our next video about Rat Yeah. Thanks for watching.